Okay, so it is March 19th, 2019. It has been another week. Where am I this week? Well, I had a major revision on the paper that Dr. Godarzy had me kind of sort of working on. He, he said it would be good practice for writing my thesis, and I think that it has been because I realized that it's much more challenging to write it than I was expecting it to be, especially the revision of it. I have a tendency to just back up and completely rewrite things because I feel like sometimes the ideas are whole cloth and they have to be presented that way. But anyway, I'm probably going to study a little bit more writing and I don't know, maybe order some books off Amazon that I saw. I found a video that was about writing the thesis. I kind of wish I'd seen it six months ago but it talked about how to take notes and some of the different things that you need to do, kind of what your expectations ought to be. And I'm kind of like, this is so much useful information. So I'm glad I found it now. You know, while it can still be useful, because I'm past about half of what it went over, like choosing your advisor and research and stuff. Some of that I happen to do right. But the actual writing of the thesis is something that I can benefit from. I've been feeling a little overwhelmed with everything I need to do, and Amy's expressed some concern about how much I'm working and trying to work, and I am getting older, but you know, that's really kind of unacceptable because I need to keep working, so that's what I'm going to do, but I am going to try to manage my morale and ability to work. I don't know, manage my time. Somehow I'm going to make this work. <sighs> and I've got, I've got my three classes. My vehicle aerodynamics class I'm doing okay with. I think I'm keeping up, but if I don't keep pace, then I'm gonna fall behind. We have a project that was originally due this past Sunday, but he pushed it off until next Sunday, which is great for me because that meant I was able to dedicate basically the whole weekend to trying to write or revise the ASME power paper for this coming summer, which really helped. And I learned a lot from realizing just how little I new, but that's good to figure out now and not at the absolute very last minute. In my elasticity class, I'm, I'm pretty lost. I'm in here kind of waiting for class to start, but there's a homework and I, I want to put more time into trying to understand it because it's basically the topic that I was interested in working on. Uh, working with understanding multiple different coordinate systems and transforming between them and Christoffel symbols and all that. So it's something I want to understand, so that's what I need to work with. And I, I need to put a lot more time and effort into the research that I'm doing. I think I missed an, I think I missed a meeting because I didn't see the email until it was much, much too late to be able to go down there for it, but, but I need to, I need to get my research done. I did finally pull my head out of my rear end, and I realized that my problem is that this is my research, and, you know, if I want to do something that the professor doesn't necessarily want me to do or advises against. It's my research and that's on me. So I will, I'm going to keep pushing forward with the turbine design because that's easy to do while I'm doing the other stuff. But I'm inclined to think that I kind of need to redesign the tower some because the previous tower was awful. 
and the data that I'm getting from it indicates that it was kind of terrible and the design decisions that went into it were bad and I'm, I do not want to be presenting this and be like, yeah, this is terrible. I could do better, but this is terrible. And it's like, no, if I can do better, I should do better. So that's how I'm going to press forward. So I'm getting back into the swing of my research. I'm feeling a little bit better, and my appetite is still not all the way back, but I'm doing better than I was. But I keep reminding myself recently that I always told my students, Festina Lente, it's an old Latin idiom that means make haste slowly. So just move at the pace that you need to move to get things done. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. And don't let anyone make you feel rushed because you have plenty of time. You just have to use it. So that's what I've got to do now is I've got the time. I just need to use it. So I'm doing some analyses on my turbine and I'm going to try to do some on the tower so I can make sure that I have a good solution. If I'm going to use a sliding mesh, one of the things I need to do is make sure that my mesh is exactly what it needs to be. And that's something that I've been learning in my vehicle aerodynamics class. So I'm very glad I took that class. So I'm going to do some work on that and hopefully have a useful project at the end of the year.